I started my teaching career in Meridian, so I didn't begin in a one-room schoolhouse, but the idea of a one-room schoolhouse was just so intriguing, and it's something I wanted to try. It sounded like a, a new challenge, and my husband and I were ready to try moving to rural Idaho, and this position became available, and I thought, why not? Why not give it a try? And I'm glad I did. In this environment, I can do a lot of project-based learning and service-based learning, and I have the kids working together cooperatively across grade levels. And so, for example, when we do literacy, the kids spend a lot of time reading to each other, and that's been really neat. The older kids take a lot of ownership in the younger kids' development, and so kind of the same thing as what drew me to teaching. The older kids will say, did you hear how well he read that? That was cool. The single greatest challenge is all of the different hats that I have to wear. I mean, sure, there's the challenge of I have multiple kids in multiple grade levels, and most of my grade levels I only have one student. So I have to be really creative with the cooperative learning that I like to do with students. But beyond the, the teaching part, it's really just that when the smart board stops working, I'm the tech support. There's no help desk ticket to put in. Or when the lights burn out, or you know, when we lose power in the building, all of those different things that in a larger environment you have a team of people that work to help you with, that just falls to me. And so sometimes that can be my biggest challenge. So Prairie has 100 registered voters. Our school is set up as a standalone district. We're the smallest district in Idaho. And we have just this one K through eight school in our one room schoolhouse. And we are managed by a board of three volunteers who are so incredibly committed to making sure that the kids of this community get the best education possible. There's a lot of things about my time at Boise State that laid the foundation to help me be successful here. First, it comes with instruction and all of the different instructional strategies that we learned, which I have to employ teaching kindergartners through eighth grade all together in a one-room environment. And so I can be really flexible and I feel like I have a lot of tools in my toolkit that I can pull from to teach. But I also do more than just teach. As the, the only teacher and the head teacher, I'm responsible with doing monthly presentations to the school board to update them on the state of the school. And I handle a lot of administrative tasks like a principal would. So because my time at Boise State, we spent a lot of time learning about the Danielson framework and professional standards and best practices in education, special education, GT education, I feel really competent handling all the different aspects of this environment, even though I'm in this all by myself. I mean, I think it's critical that kids everywhere have the best access to education and opportunity, particularly in the rural environments we don't have quite as many people working on a problem. And it's important that being spread a little more thin or maybe not having quite as many resources don't affect the education of these kids. They have every right to go on and do whatever amazing things they decide to do with their life. And I think it's really important that we have the best teachers possible everywhere we go. And I, I really value my education at Boise State and how that's helped me do that for these kids. Thank you.